hello my viewers welcome back today we are going to learn about conductors of electricity remember our previous lesson was about a simple electric circuit where as we said there are four main elements which we need to make a simple electric circuit that is dry cell which is source of energy we have wire which is connector we have switch switch which help to complete the circuit and bulb which is transformer uh, so here we will still use that simple electric circuit to investigate materials which can conduct electricity and materials which cannot conduct electricity so when we now talk about conductors of electricity we have two types of conductors. The first one is called wood conductors of electricity. And the second one is bad or poor conductors of electricity so we'll start with the first one which is good conductors of electricity so that we can find out which are these materials which we call good conductors of electricity good conductors of electricity good conductors of electricity these are materials that allow electricity to pass through them materials that allow electricity to pass through them are called gold conductors of electricity and when you talk of conductors of electricity we have medium which means media when they are made we have those materials when you talk of materials when we are investigating both conductors of electricity and poor conductors of electricity or uh, before we go to that let me let's talk of poor conductors of electricity so when we come to investigating them we do them together poor conductors of electricity which materials are these materials that do not allow electricity to pass through them are called bad conductors of electricity or poor conductors of electricity materials that do not allow electricity to pass through them are called poor or bad conductors of electricity 
Poor urban conductors of electricity are also called insulators. They are also called insulators. So these uh, poor conductors of electricity here, we talk about good conductors of electricity. So uh, some of uh, these materials are metallic, some are non-metallic. We have plastic materials, we have wooden materials. So let me uh, talk of different kinds of materials which we are going to investigate. One, we have metallic, we have plastic, we have glass, we have wooden, so these are the main materials which we have and we are going to find out whether they are they conduct electricity or not. So when you come to good conductors of electricity, you will realize that all metals are good conductors of electricity. You realize all metals are good conductors of electricity. We also have some non-metallic materials which are good conductors of electricity and that is water and graphite. When you talk of water and graphite, okay, that's a pencil graphite. Water and graphite are non-metallic, are good conductors, good conductors. of electricity but not metallic they are non metallic materials they are non metals which conduct electricity so that's why you are advised not to touch or uh, electric appliances, electric cables and sockets with the wet hand. Why? Because water is a good conductor of electricity. So uh, just so where we see also this one is poor conductors of electricity then good conductors of electricity we have said all metals are good conductors of electricity now i want us to go to the investigation let us investigate who are uh, good conductors of electricity we are going to use our simple electric circuit so make sure you connect your simple electric circuit for this lesson. So that's our simple electric circuit. On the other side also we are going to connect our simple electric circuit.
be some pressure, our bar, our wire, our tricep, bar, wire, and the circuit is complete. So what you will do, you will have a switch. Remember we said the work of the switch is to complete the circuit. So at this point, we will have a switch and also at this point, we will have a switch. So what we, the reason why now we have made uh, our simple electric circuits to be incomplete, we want to investigate whether these materials are good conductors of electricity or they are non-conductors or bad conductors or poor conductors of electricity. So I want to drop these materials down on this other side of poor conductors of electricity things like dry wood things like stone let's try dry wood stone or things like um, water we are investigating we are not going to find so let also oh, the water let's put it on this side Then there we have dry wood, so here we are going to have wet wood. Then we have green leaf. Let's this I have dry leaf of a plant. Or let's also have things like uh, glass, plastics, and have glass. You can have plastics or oh, mm. so we continue we can have paper we can have clothes let's have paper let's have clothes on this side let's have water top let's have nail iron nail Let's talk of nail, that's iron nail. So uh, we can add uh, things like pins on this side. We can also have wire on this side. We also have things like thread. So we can start our investigation in finding out poor and uh, bad, poor bad conductors of electricity and also good conductors of electricity. When we start with good conductors of electricity, we have said we have some non-metallic materials and these non-metallic materials are good conductors of electricity. Let's start with those ones. That is water and graphite. So have water in a container. After having water in a container, then the two uh, ends which make the switch. Can you dip them inside? But don't connect. Just dip them inside that this these two ends. What will happen? You will, the bulb will light. That tells us water is a good conductor of electricity. What about wet wood? Wet wood.